Hello. So, you welcome to Unleash Your Maverick. I want to show you around the platform. I want to tell you a bit about why you're here and how it will help the program. So, at this point, we've probably had one coaching session or maybe you're joining mid-program. Um, and we are probably about to embark on our journey together. You've received an email with a link to creating an account. You've created your account on this platform and you've been presented with a screen somewhat similar to this. Okay, so we're on the same page. So what does all this mean? Well, first of all, this is where we are going to communicate, where we're going to share resources, where you are going to keep be held accountable for the actions you commit to and the insights you have throughout our coaching program. So we've got the sessions, which are where the insights happen, where we create the actions. That's where the majority of the work happens. And then between the sessions where you go and the rubber meets the road. Now, if you want lasting value from your big investment, your time, your money, um, your effort and emotional investment into coaching, this is going to, this program here is going to, sorry, this platform here is going to add a lot of that value. So between sessions, you are going to write down in this action section, whatever it is you've committed to doing in the sessions. We'll go through that in a minute. In this worksheet section, you are going to do the session wrap up and reflection form. You're also going to do the pre-session prep forms and any other worksheets that we agree you're going to do that might help you reflect between sessions. In this files section here on the left, you've also got, um, you have your session recording. So the recording from each session, very important. Um, and so any other resources, videos, books, blogs, articles, etc. Anything that we've discussed or I feel may be useful to you. You've got a metrics uh, tab, which is, now this is where things get super nerdy and in a really good way. You can track, like this, I've done an example that I think is important for everyone to track. You can track whatever you want, be it anything from as easily trackable and surface level as what's, um, you know, what did I eat today or how, um, how many productive hours did I spend at work today to anything a lot more on the deep side. You know, we've probably talked about the distinction between working at the surface level, the kind of day to day, week to week challenges that come up and how you want to address them and how that influences your self-awareness, understanding uh, and insights and deepest level values at a much deeper level, uh, how those two things interact, you can track them both on here. And in fact, it's quite useful to track them both because you can see how they influence each other. I will get more into metrics later on in, in the coaching program, but for now, just set up anything that feels right for you. Click this plus button like you can on files, actions, um, and journaling, and just delve in, start recording some stuff and see what works. You can you can do a lot with it. Um, but for now, just fill in your, uh, your data point for this week. This is a weekly data point, this metric, how much fun did I have whilst running my accountability experiments. Um, yeah, fill that in, seven. I had seven out of 10 fun. Um, I haven't got a comment. You add that and you can see that first data point coming up there and you will have a growing list of these. So you'll also find session notes. So notes from each session, we'll go into that shortly and you can add journal entries. So all of this and kind of the amazing thing about this is that first of all, it saves us loads of time. Second, it puts everything in one place. Your journals, all the session notes and resources, all the actions, all the worksheets, it's all there in one place. You can access it on your laptop like I am, it's nice and spacious. You can also access this via your phone. If you click the link or you type in coachaccountable.com app on your phone, 
you will then be asked to log in and then and there there's um tomorrow you will get a message instructing you exactly how to then add this coach accountable platform to your phone as an app so that'll come tomorrow no need to rush that but you can have instant access to all of this i will have constant access to this and i will use this the more you use this platform the more you will get out of the coaching because i will then use this in the lead up to our session to look at how engaged you are to look at where you've taken action to look at to develop questions and help you glean insights and develop challenges to you around how you've acted what you've done what you haven't done how much you've experimented what metrics how your metrics have changed as a result like this is fundamental to how we work together and that goes for the stuff on the deep level too so with that out of the way let's dive into your overview so click on your overview if you're on your phone this will be a more cramped screen but you can still click on your overview now you've got in order here you've got a metric action 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 worksheet in order in order of due date all the things that i want you to do just to get you familiarized with the platform for example we've got watch the introduction to this platform video. So there it is, I clicked on it. You can now click that one as done. Off it goes, well done, ahead of schedule. You'll get an email notification that you've done that. So will I. Right, back to the overview. Metric stack called for fun. Right, I already did that, so that's um, fine. Now, this is where I want to just walk you through. There's, I could spend, it wouldn't take me long, I could spend five minutes doing all of this for you after each session. But that kind of defeats the point of you taking ownership of your own growth, self-awareness, confidence, career, etc. So, after each session, I want you to come in to this platform and add the accountability experiment that we just talked about in our last session to your list of actions this very list that we're on now so if you need a bit of help with that you go to the session notes open the most recent session notes and they will, they will be named and you'll see here forget about this bit for now if we'd actually done a full session this would all be filled in but we don't need to use it you've got your number one insight from the session You've got the opportunities we talked about for you to experiment with that insight. And this is the important bit for what we're doing now, the accountability experiment that we actually agreed you will do. And there should be a what will you do? What will you do? I will tell everyone I know not to work with Elliot. And a when you are going to do it by. I will do it by the end of this Friday. I just want you to take that and add it as an action. So I will tell everyone Elliot is a shit coach. Okay, when am I going to do that by? Oh, Friday, it already knows. 10 a.m. It's not part of a project. Bang, add action. Great, now you and I both know when that needs to be done by, and we will get reminders for that beginning to sound like a school teacher I know so what you will also have noticed like some other actions that I want you to do create a reminder slash alarm on your phone to journal at the same time each day now we may have talked about journaling we may have not have but I still whether we have or haven't and you've got a specific question to journal with or a specific topic I still want you to just take one maybe two minutes a day to openly journal and write about whatever's gone on for you in that day. It doesn't have to be anything specific, just whatever comes up for you to write, just go for it. Uh, if we have come up with a specific question, then obviously answer that. But what I, all I want you to do is set a reminder or an alarm on your phone, however you usually do that, 
at the same time each day. Evening is usually best, but some people are mornings and they do it about the day before to get into the habit of doing that journaling. And where will you do that? You will click here on the journaling and plus journal entry. You can then do that however you like. You can even choose not to share it with me if you want, which is fine. It's more important you do the practice. So, where are we? So you'll also notice there's an action for consuming the resources in, from the session. So the journaling question here and the resources here, that's where that's going to be for you to then get on and do that. So <clears throat> usually I'll put the resources in the library or I would have sent you a link. Okay, so that covers consuming the resources. And again, after each session, it is your job to come into this software and debrief yourself using the session notes, using the what we just talked about. And also, and this is important, you'll notice on your overview, you've got a worksheet due tomorrow. This will always be due one day after the session. Session wrap up and reflection. I've clicked on it, it's taken me straight to the worksheet. You could also click on your worksheet section and you would be presented with this. Click on the session wrap up and reflection. Right, very simple bunch of questions, don't take any more than 10 minutes to do it. Um, and then there's a little checklist here at the bottom um, for your post session admin, which goes through and gets you to double commit and stay accountable to everything I just said. So have you added your main accountability experiment to the action step? Have you added a reminder to journal um, every day, every weekday? And have you added a reminder or a task or an action to get through the resources that we talked about? Have you blocked out 90 minutes in your calendar, your work calendar, one week between each session to listen back to the session? And then you would just click complete on that and then that's done. So this may seem like it's quite a lot, but it's really not. Like if you're just going through, the, it might take 15 minutes the first time, next time it would take 10, then five. And ultimately, you know, you're going to be paying a lot of money. You're going to be investing a lot into this coaching. What's an extra 10 minutes to be able to get the most out of it? So that pretty much covers everything that will allow you to then go forth and do and make the most of this platform. The only other thing I will cover is metrics. So I've already talked a bit about them. When you're adding one, let's say you wanted to track, we'll start with a simple one. Um, Trying to think of a simple one now. Yeah, how many, how many um, strangers did I talk to today? Um, this is just. This would just be you know, number. Unit of measure is just yeah, numbers. Um, number of strangers. Um, and then you can put in when you want to start, how long you want to do it for. Let's say for 10 weeks. I want to do it every weekday or whatever you want every day. And you can choose to do it uh, as you can choose to enter the data as a running total uh, or just regular kind of day by day so it shows like a graph. You can have a target, you can set reminders, all of that's up to you. And then click on create and you're good to go. We will talk about that in more detail if anything comes up that's obvious that should be tracked. Right, I'm starting to get bored of the sound of my own voice. As I already mentioned, it is really important that you listen back to the recording of each session. And in your actions list, it will say, in your work calendar, block out 90 minutes, um, exactly one week, oh, sorry, exactly halfway between our sessions. So if we're speaking every two weeks, for example, 
as I do with most people. And our session is on Thursday at 8 a.m. I want you to block out the Thursday between our sessions from 8 a.m. till 9.30 a.m. to go into your files section, listen back to the recording, which is here, and sit there with a bit of pen and paper, or if you're on your commute to work or whatever, you just sit there with your phone notes and just write whatever comes up for you as you're listening. You know, if it's a few insights, maybe some actions, maybe it's just random blurb to what you've what you've said. Keeping the momentum going between sessions is super important. Part of the reason we're using this software and I've designed it all like this is to keep you engaged between sessions. You do need to do some of the work there. And one of those things is having your coaching time at the same time every week, no matter whether we are working together weekly, fortnightly, monthly, between each session, listen back, get back into the flow of the coaching, hear yourself having the insights again. Really important. Right. So as you can see, this is pretty powerful. This is also like... When we look back, when we do our mid program review and our end of program review, we're going to be referring to a lot of this stuff. We're going to be looking at this to see how you did and how we did, more importantly, how effective the coaching was and how much effort you put in. This is going to be so useful for that. And when you're tracking metrics and you're seeing how these things all change together over time and what you know, what inputs lead to certain results, whether they be good results or bad results. It's just going to be so valuable. And I used to do this. I used to do all of this, but it was all in different places. So you'd have, you know, WhatsApp and Google Drive and Zoom and uh, like, well, I didn't track metrics. That's something that's new to this, this platform, but your actions would all be done over WhatsApp. And it was just all very piecemeal. So now it's all in one place. Um, so you should really be very grateful. <laughs> right. Lots of love. Um, any questions, please ask me. Um, have fun playing around.